We're back live at the Mobility Project. Just got off the phone with Justin Judkins of CrossFit Radio. Thanks very much. Uh, want to talk tonight about the CrossFit Main Site programming. There is a really, really tough hero wad on there that's going to involve lots and lots of squatting, which is really no different than a long version of a, maybe a, a steep downhill run or a mountain run. Uh, lots of kind of eccentric loading on the quads. And what you'll see is that it's a relatively light back squat movement. And as you get tired, it's actually probably going to get tough to maintain a good kind of really posterior chain involvement as you start to fatigue and you're going to, you know, kind of uh, face with a workout that ends up being kind of sort of high volume, likely what's going to happen is you're going to make a choice about keeping your torso upright. Tomorrow we're going to talk about bracing strategies, some ideas about how to scale and uh, kind of practice making sure we're in a good position. But tonight, as you'll notice, is if you end up doing this, this water, any kind of thing like this, we're going to be forced into making lots and lots of light weight body weight movements or 95 pound movements, your torso is going to end up being upright because these little muscles are off, going to fatigue out and your body's going to minimize the amount of shear at the spine by keeping things straight up and down. Subsequently, you're going to end up in a much more quad dominant knee forward squatting position. Maintaining this kind of position where I can put on the big musculature of the hips and back probably is going to be a, you know, a wiser strategy, but as I get tired, man, I'm going to keep my torso upright. So that means I'm going to really challenge the movement down here. So today, let's think about getting ready for that kind of thing. This could be a steep mountain run. We just had six athletes finish the quad dipsy, which is an ultra marathon. Uh, it's about uh, 50K. These guys are running downhill a lot. And any chance, any time that knee has to come forward a lot or I start breaking and challenging that, I have to make sure that I have enough sufficiency in the kind of quadriceps anterior musculature. So here's what we're going to do tonight. First piece first is let's go ahead and start by opening up the hip with the band, band assist. So wind that thing up, we're going to put that thing right in the ghoulie, which is that technical term for the gluteal fold. We'll get as much band tension as you can. At CrossFit San Francisco, we've been doubling the bands up, even using a thicker band or a black band, and then squeezing, and this is basically a Samson stretch on steroid. So rib cage in and down, wind up, press into those corners, hang out. You're going to be able to really open up that hip, and this is really going to hit this high proximal hip, or the high hip here, okay? So let's try to get a minute or two on that leg. And then once we're opened up here, that's going to buy me a lot of room down at the knee. So now we're going to go down to the knee, hit the line again, with the couch stretch. So let's go ahead and wind ourselves up into the corner. The variations my wife is always pointing out, if you, in case you don't know, is you might need to put the knee further away from the wall. You don't even have to bring this hip up. You can bring it up in stages, but ultimately you want you in the corner. So shove that thing back to the corner, wind up. Now if you just press to the ground, that's going to be an analog of what we just did. But let's go ahead and open all the way up and really try to hit the front and kind of this distal quad. So you'll feel this more down by the knee, hang out in these corners, prep around, find those bands of restriction. Third piece, let's try to get one or two minutes there, kind of a 10 minute quad opener tonight. Third piece is going to be really smashing just this distal part. So let's go after the VMO and really open up kind of laterally in here. I've got the quad baller, which I really like. Starting one side, working my way across, just kind of exploring those tight bits. That VMO is going to be super, super baked out. This is probably where this lateral head, or medial head, is going to be super cooked. You could be on a barbell, you could do this on a PVC pipe, there's the balls there. Don't let, uh, you know, if you need an example, don't let your lack of equipment get in your way. You can be here and do the same thing, rolling back and forth, kind of getting in there, back and forth over the leg. It doesn't matter, just get some soft tissue ungluing. You're going to be smoked, those legs are going to be cooked. Think about kind of this movement prep stuff. This will help you to be able to kind of make movement strategies that prioritize keeping your back upright. All right, so that's what we're thinking about. That's how I would get warmed up for tomorrow's workout, rope climbing, lots and lots of squatting and uh, some farmer's walk carry stuff, especially since the farmer's walk is going to smoke out the trunk anyway. All right, so we're counting the, the, the legs, the birds as my wife calls them, to uh, be able to carry the load. That means I need to give these guys some, some love. Make sense? We'll see you guys tomorrow.